I love you. No, I do. Could get interesting. Sorry, Dunbar. You know I love you, buddy. I'll give you cubes for this. He's got them bad. It's coming in hot. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. We are about to go in this pasture where the Big Joe herd is, and then on to the Dunbar herd. And uh, they've been having some problems lately, and we got to get it handled. We're going to do things a little bit different. Got to do something for the first time today. We're using a special tool to take care of a problem that keeps bugging the bison and um, just an annoying problem that we got to get taken care of. We're going to do it a unique way today, and we're going to see how the herd reacts to it with both herds react to it so got eli and cole and cora came down in the pasture with us so we're gonna go try something new whoa are you excited you want to go don't you i can't let you out in the bison pasture i'm sure big joe would like a new person a new character in there but uh Pretty girl. All right, we'll be back, Cora. Hell star, doing good. And here come the rest of them. 32, still hadn't had her calf. Big mama, boss cow. The rest are dragging on the back. Big Joe. All right, so we're in the Big Joe pasture. We just found them. Uh, we're gonna do a normal herd check, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them some cubes. We're gonna spread out a bunch of cubes on this road, and then we're gonna drive back through and analyze them and get ready to uh, to try to handle this problem, this war that we're fighting, and um, gotta get the bikes to take care of. So, Eli, you wanna spread the cubes out, yep. and then um, as we go down this road, we'll go back and see if we can attack them, see if we can get them. <laughs> Could get interesting. You can just like thin, spread them out as thin as you can. Stretch them pretty far. Okay, give it a break. And then now go again. Try to break them up. Coming hot for Dila. Save a little bit if you can for Eleanor. Is there any left? It's okay if not. Just keep it with you. Good job. All right, here we go. Try to help him out. We need to think about the sides that we do it on. Just checking these mamas out. Not too bad. We're gonna try this as a uh, way of treating them. It's one of the safest ways to do it. We're gonna try this first, because in the past, you've got a pump up sprayer, you can reach out there and spray them that way. It's always not the most eff effective because as soon as you spray them, they run off and you just get one small patch, even if you get close enough to them. Holy smokes. I just completely whiffed her. <laughs> that ball didn't even pop. I'm surprised it shot that hard. Got her. Where's that ball at? Those things are expensive. I know. It rolled. Not trying to hurt them. I want you guys to know that. You're not trying to hurt them. Got her. That's a good spot. About missed her like I did the first time. <laughs> it's really not that loud. It's just the thump and the kick. The, the clip hitting. So. Okay. Let's find the big guy. Where's he at? Let's see. Let's see. Is he 
back over there. He probably has it the worst. The other cows aren't that bad. All right, buddy. Trying to take care of you, man. Oh, now you're moving. I'll give you cubes for this. He's got them bad. Noticed. <laughs> oh, he's chasing that cow. Look at her. She's all jazzed up. Hey, didn't bother him. I do want to get Eleanor though. She's got him bad. On the go. Sorry, Eleanor. I love you. You know I do. Got her. I mean, it's supposed to help them, so we'll see. <laughs> so we got Boss Cow taken care of, Eleanor taken care of, and Big Joe. And it obviously didn't bother him very much because he's right back over here and he's courting a female right now because she's in heat. That's a Texas 11 cow. So it didn't affect him really. They didn't even know what hit him. But um, we'll, uh, so what it is, it's essentially just a, a paintball and then it's uh, two capsules together. And when it hits them, it, exp it, it, falls apart it breaks apart and bust and it leaves them with this abamectin basically and uh to try to get all the horn flies off them because the bulls are the worst and if you've ever looked at eleanor she's got these big rubs and these big open scabs on her that that's from um rubbing on trees and stuff well the flies get in there and then they bother they bother them and then they go to licking them and so the wound never heals they typically will heal in the winter time um when they stop the flies are gone so that's why and uh for some reason they like the bulls uh a whole bunch um i don't know if that's the hormones or testosterone i don't know what they put off but um so hopefully we'll see how this goes and um so far i kind of like it i was a little worried about them running away and it the, sh the sound actually scaring them but it's not that loud is it no it's it's not too loud He's obviously not affected by it. He's up here visiting him with us. So <laughs> let's move on to Mr. Dunbar and Haas. Haas looks terrible. Haas's back looks so bad. We gotta get him taken care of. Sorry to do it. Come on! It's fun to catch him coming over the hill. Uh -huh. All right, let's spread them out and then we'll go back through and see if we can get Dunbar hooked up. I don't want to shoot you too close, Dunbar. Go ahead, buddy. Spread them out pretty thin. Just stop every now and then so you can space them out and then start again. Huh. Oh! Who 
put the safety on. Just kidding, Eli. Did the right thing. Drive by. Sorry, probably doesn't feel good for a second. Where's Dunbar? Where's Haas? There he is, perfect. That's who we need to get. All right, Haas, sorry, buddy. Yours is so bad. So if you guys look some of these skin conditions this is like uh this is like i was talking about on hoss has got it bad i don't know why but got dry skin it's just like humans it's like a dermatitis or eczema or eczema <laughs> eczema and uh that's in an area where they can lick he can reach back there and lick so if he keeps licking it because their flies are agitating him and uh the flies just stay on it he licks it so it never has time to patch or heal over and the scabs keep opening and they also rub on trees there's trees in this pasture so they rub on the bark or a cedar and it'll take that scab right off it's just like us itching and we peel a scab back that's the same thing but he's got it pretty bad i may give him another dose just because it's he's got it so bad he's the worst one that i've ever seen he's completely healthy and fine it's just the flies and stuff Did I hit her? Or did I hit him? Got him. <laughs> it looked like I hit her. I was trying to get right there on top of his. You can see his stuff is bad. His has always been like that for some reason. That works pretty nice, actually. All right. Dunbar. Sorry, I gotta shoot you. You know I love you, buddy. I'm trying to help you. I get you taken care of. <laughs> I guess they don't mind it too much. I don't think they mind it at all. He just keeps going. He's ready for cubes. Yeah, here's a good shot of him. This stuff is just. It's rough. I've never really showed it that much, but. You guys see any others that have serious flies on them? Some, but not terrible. I know it seems mean, and it is kind of fun to shoot it, but it's for their own good. I shot her. She's got a little scabby right there. And then you just turn around and come right back. What was that? Bobby, you don't have any flies. You don't have to get shot. That's just 13. Okay. today.